Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike, I'm back. Yeah, it's been a while and I apologize for that, but we have to fix a problem because this has been driving me crazy. See, stay, nope, stay, nope, stay, nope, stay, nope, stay, no. All right, we're inside. We're inside my luxurious 560 SEL, which I still love, by the way. But this is a common problem on these cars. This, okay, this is the door check. It's supposed to hold the door. It's supposed to hold it open so you can glamorously slide into your leather seats. I'm sounding like Doug DeMuro for some reason right now. But this one is not. It's not doing a dadgum thing. So we have to get another one. I wanna show you how to take off the door panel though, because this, a lot of people don't know and they just start pulling these things apart. No, 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 because you're going to rip every little pin out and you're going to ruin your door card. Okay, I wanted to make sure I had this right before I showed you guys on camera. Okay, this is your little insert piece for the uh, window. Basically, it's a screw right there. You undo the screw and this comes out. Most cars have a little clip that slides right into this little part right here. Unfortunately, my car's is broken okay that's okay i still love her so we take that off first okay this comes off now let me show you what the door card does because this is pretty incredible all right we're going to put this right back here we're going to put her right there first thing you want to do is you want to unscrew and take off your door lock knob okay then you want to come inside right here and there's two plastic pieces Okay, there's a little plastic piece that covers this up and there's a little plastic piece that covers this up. This looks like that. It simply slides out. Come here, little piece. This goes right there, like that. So you just simply pop off the little tabs for your car seats, okay? This pops out. There's a little clip there, a little clip there. Okay, so you pop it from that side and it comes out very easily. Then you have the door handle which goes thusly, okay, see that? So you have three screws, one here, one here that you reach underneath, and this one right here, there's a little indent in the speaker, so that'll let you get right up in here. That way you can take off your door handle, okay? So that goes to the side, and then you need to move the whole thing up. I don't know why my camera is so close, but the door panel comes up, it does not come out. If it comes out, you've broken something. So you have to go up, and that means you have to get it outside of this part right here and outside of this handle right here. So thank you very much, Kent Borgsma, Bergsma, Mr. Mercedes Source. He said if you loosen the two screws right here, you can move this a little bit. This doesn't stand out too much, but this one does. So you loosen the screws so that can move around, and then you pop this part out like that, and then the whole thing, you get your knees underneath it, and you go like that and the whole door card comes out so nice so easy it's in one little piece not a big problem oh now you decide to stay now you decide to stay for me okay don't forget to undo your electrical clip right there on the bottom of the door card this okay so this has been a part before and i know because this is not original so they have replaced the door card after 30 years i can understand that but what you have to do I don't like tearing this stuff. All right, what you have to do, your door card is right in here, and there are two little bolts, probably tens, that go right there. Let me see if I can show you. Come on, come on. Okay, see that? See that? Those two little bolts right there come out, and then you snake the check. This comes out as well. This holds it on. I'll show you just a second and then it comes out this little patch right here. So let me get a socket wrench and we'll get to work on we this. We are back. Yeah, 30 minutes later and take a look at that right there. There is your door check, your door stop. That's what's gonna make my life so much easier. What we've done so far, we have removed the two 10 millimeter bolts right there. There's a little clip. Where'd the little clippy go? Come here. I'm just having a heck of a day with everything going on. Yeah, it's been a crazy day. 
and the little clip that I had has disappeared. Mother son of a gun. Where did that go? You were just right here. You were literally just right here. Okay? Here, right there she is. Okay, see this little bitty clip goes on the bottom with this little bitty pin. Okay, pull that out. Hammer it up a little bit with whatever you got. And this comes out. Okay? At this point, you can loosen this. Okay, and look, it's already moving. See, it's already moving. So, come on out. And we have separation. So all we do is reach in here, bring it out, and there's the old one. We have removed the said old doorstop door check, and we have thanked it for its service. You ready? Here it goes. Okay, now, this is the new one. You put it back in the little sleeve and you make sure that the part that sticks out right here goes through the sleeve because this is how it goes right into the door. Okay, let's make sure it's all the way seated and it's good to go. All we have to do, slide it right into here. Make sure we're not hitting anything important. It comes out right here at the end of the door. And this is where it gets a little messy. I should have gloves on. Yay. Yay, Mike forgot gloves. Okay, there it is. See how it comes out right there? Now, what I do is I get the bolt that was holding it to the door. Voila. And I just kind of hold it there. Just a couple of little turns. Come on, little dude. Come on. Okay, we've got this semi, we just got it inserted here, right here, this little 10 millimeter. Now what I'm gonna do is try to find the two little places where the 10 millimeter goes in at the end of the, here we go. There's one into the door check, the door stop. And there's one on top. This is all feel, because you can't really Ooh, you can't really see what you're working with here. Okay. Okay, a couple of pieces I want you not to lose. This guy right there, okay? Yeah, he sits at the bottom. So you put your pin in at the top, like so. Okay, and you kind of start it. And this little guy slips right in and keeps everything nice and tight. Okay, where's my hammer slash socket? You gotta be kidding me. Every time I put some tool down, it disappears. Every single time. Every time. Gee, many Christmas. Okay. Look at that, it goes right in. I'm gonna put that tool down and it's gonna disappear. This is your little clip, okay, it goes on the bottom right there. There's a little groove for it and it holds it into place. Now we got the pin in, everything's in. We're gonna tighten this one right here and then we should have what is called, in the mechanics world, stoppage. Yeah, we should have some stoppage. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen here. Tighten it up. Okay, make sure this one's tight. You're tight. There's thread locker on them. You're tight. Okay, this one has a washer. These two do not. And watch, see? Stop. Oh, open. Stop. Look at that. Beautiful.
And that, my friends, is how you replace the door stop, the door check, whatever you want to call it. Watch this. We will go here. We will stop there. And we will close. Isn't that fabulous? Okay. In review, let me just say that you've got to make sure you have the electrical connections through the bottom of the door first. So you don't want to take this off again like I did. And you got to make sure that this little solid piece right here is able to flip over this right here. Okay, so this goes through this and then you finally tighten that bolt there. Then you tighten this one and then you tighten this one. Okay, make sure your bottom two hooks on each side are in. Before you start pushing down, make sure you, this is loosened up. Push it down, make sure everything's nice and good. Then put all your little pieces back on, your little chrome strips, your little screw right there. And I'm missing the little tab that holds this right there. See? So I gotta figure out what to do because I like for that to fit a little better. But we'll just leave it like that for now. Um, but that's it, okay? One door stop, door check installed. Only took two hours. Should have taken 30 minutes. Hmm, wonder why. Okay, we're gonna call that a win. Yay, Monkey Wrench Mike from OSU. So uh, we have much more coming up on this car. Spark plugs, we're gonna test the spark wires. We're gonna get a radio put in as well. And we're gonna solve a couple of little squeaks. Still loving the car, still loving it a lot. Okay. Guys, uh, please like, please subscribe. I appreciate your views. I appreciate all the nice comments. I've had a couple of guys actually send me some tools, which is very much appreciated. Not asked for, not necessary, but it was very nice to get the tools, and I will show those off uh, when I use them. So have a good day, everybody. Make the most. Hug your kids. See you later. Bye-bye.